Oh, hey there, I didn't see you. So what retro video game magazine will I be reviewing? Stick around, find out. Aha, here we go, Game Pro Magazine. And on the cover are the three Battletoads, Rash, Zitz, and Pimple. Exclusive review, Battletoads. Along with Valus 2 and Akari Warriors 3 and the Game Gear. Alright. And of course we have an advertisement for the Ultra Cool Adventure Island 2 by Hudson Soft. And there's that little rhino in the bushes there. What's he peeking at? One of the things that I didn't really like about Game Pro are all the ads. NBA's jamming on the Game Boy for sure. Yeah, too many ads. And there's the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> hey, he's pushing the merch. When he does that, you better buy, or else you're going to get a press slam, bitch. Look at those graphics. Nice. And over here, the Adventures of Game Pro. They're a little comic that they came out monthly. This one, uh, Game Pro's interacting with our bald-headed friend, the only prehistoric man that I know that's bald. Not that I know any prehistoric man. Bonk, and Bonk's adventure, and there he is talking to him. Asking for directions, no doubt. Took the wrong turn to Albuquerque. And the, uh, <laughs> the links, oh man, enough about that. And here, the comic continues, and we see Stalker. Stalker, yeah, he must be a hit on Facebook. Man, didn't you just love the old 80s slash early 90s style comics? I know I did. Especially the in-house Game Pro stuff. I always loved their artwork. It was always just energetic and f colorful. Good stuff. And there's our cover, boys. I gotta say, one of the toughest NES games, one of the toughest beat-em-up games ever, Battletoads. And they got an NES Pro view, and they're showing various clips, or not clips, sorry, but various screenshots, and they have those, you know, pro tips that are always helpful, like, press the start button if you like to begin your journey. Over here we have Wampum, a game I've never played before, it actually looks pretty damn good. I'll have to get a copy of Wampum soon, that's just a great thing to say, Wampum. And a fair, fair score for Wampum. Of course, Akari Warriors 3 on the NES, and you guys know that I absolutely hate the Akari Warriors games. This one's no different. I hate it. So there. I'm more of a Guerrilla War type of guy anyways. So, continuing on. Fun for kids of all ages. Step up, Sega Genesis. It's your turn to shine with Wardner. I have no clue what this game is. I think it's an action platformer, it looks like, from the uh, screenshots. If anybody knows anything about Wardner, please comment below and let me know. It looks pretty decent, actually. Pretty good score, but back then, you know, they didn't have much to compare it to, I guess. Not like the games we have now, like Crackdown, not to be confused with the Xbox 360 release of Crackdown 1 and 2. This one's for the Genesis. And another game I haven't played, but it looks pretty cool, actually. Some decent scores. And here, Valus 2 on the TurboGrafx-16. It looks actually pretty damn good, and if anybody out there can uh, vouch for it, uh, let me know what you think of this game. I'd, I'd really like to pick it up. It looks really good. And a good score, too. Moving on. Sherlock Holmes, Consulting Detective. Need I say more? The May 1991 issue of GamePro Magazine comes with the best part of the magazine, in my opinion. SWAT Pro. All the tips and tricks you can muster. And, oh, look at that. Beardo's giving her a smooch. Isn't that nice? That guy's got a big beard. Psychosis, a bunch of games. Uh, Strider, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, just a ton of codes. G.I. Joe, Rolling Thunder, that's a great game on an NES. Usually had two to two to four pages of just codes and Game Genies, Game Genie codes, Pro Action Replay, and her Super Sprint. That's a great game. Ghosts and Goblins, 
or Ghouls and Ghosts, sorry, on the Genesis. Oh, The Simpsons, Barbers, the Space Mutants. Finally on the, on the NES. Wow, that's just a terrible game. I can't even say it correctly. And the artists. Actually, some kick-ass artists here. A lot of great stuff. I think that's a, that's a Strider one? Right in the corner. Sweet. I love artwork. Especially great fan art. Don't make them like they used to anymore. Be happy with the HAP Competition Pro control pads. Yes, sir. I wonder if I can find that in my local Zellers. Pro Challenge Board. All the various scores all these players accumulated. That's pretty cool back in the day when you didn't have the internet. And the last couple of pages, Ninja Crusaders and Roland's Curse on the Game Boy. Which actually looks really cool. I'm going to have to pick that up. And the back, chill or be chilled. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Take care.